Hey guys, welcome to Quick Fix Guitar, my name is Aaron. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you for coming back. Thank you for all the likes, comments, all the views. Really, really appreciate the support. However, if you're new here, let me tell you all about what I do here at Quick Fix Guitar. So here on the channel, I upload multiple guitar lessons per week on songs from a variety of genres, but with the main focus around hard rock, rock, punk, and metal. Then the following day, I release a cover of the song so you can see all the parts played in their entirety and also do review the odd piece of gear from time to time. Guitars, pedals, amps, you name it, I love chatting about it. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. And with that being said, let's jump into another Sex Pistols lesson. All right, lesson time, Stepping Stone by the Sex Pistols. This is off the great rock and roll swindle. And it's actually a song I wasn't familiar with um, as far as Sex Pistols songs go. I hadn't actually heard of it. But I had a few people comment saying to do a lesson on this one, so I thought I'd go ahead and give it a listen to. And I was pleasantly surprised. It's a really, really catchy song, like with all of the Sex Pistols songs, in my opinion. But it sounds a bit different to what they normally, what they would normally play. The riff sounds really dark and moody, and it sounds a bit more modern, in my opinion. So it's really, really fun to play along to, and it's really, really easy. So shout out to those guys that said to do a lesson on it. Thank you very much for introducing it to me. I'm happy to share it with all of you guys and hopefully it's um, one that you can play along to. So for this one, we're on the bridge pickup and we are in standard tuning and the intro riff is just an A power chord and you let it ring. So we've got mute the low E, A string open and the barring on the D and the G at the second fret and it's just a down, up, down. And he lets it ring for a little bit and then there's a drum comes in. I think it's a kick drum, goes boof, boof, boof and then you're into the verse riff. So the verse riff, you can play an A here, up on the fifth fret of the low E, or you can play that one that, from the intro the other way. I just prefer to play it up here because when you get to the chorus, you slide down the neck and it just makes a bit more sense. Um, it's a bit more um, uh, economic, I guess you could say. But either one is fine, you can play it however you like. So just play that intro. Then we're into the verse. So the verse is an A power chord here on the fifth fret of the low E, however you do your power chords. Then we've got down here on the third fret of the A string, fifth fret and eighth fret, just like that. So it's heavily palm muted. He's putting his palm down on the bridge and it's down chugging. And I'll just show you what the shapes look like. So he does three of those passages, and then when it gets up to the fourth one, he goes back to the A, and that's when you start the chorus. So the verse is just those four chords. Heavily palm muted, um, and then when he gets to the chorus, he stops the palm muting and he opens it up. So, And then the chorus starts, it's back to that A, but he's strumming his way through it. So that's an A, fifth fret on the low E, then you go to a G, third fret, F sharp, second fret, and then an F at the first fret there. So Then you go back to those ver that verse passage, but instead of palm muting, he's strumming his way through it. So he goes through that passage twice, twice each for both of those phrases, and then it's back to the verse. So those are all the parts you need to play. It's pretty basic, but again, very, very moody and very, very catchy. So I'll just play it from the intro into the verse and then a passage through of the chorus, just so you can see all the parts played in its entirety. So we've got that intro. So 
So three of that passage and then we start the chorus. Sorry, not that. But you get the idea. Those are the basic patterns that you need to play it. So that's all the rhythm. There's the intro, which is just that A power chord. There's the verse. And then there is the chorus. All really, really simple. All power chord based. And you can get a bit lazy and just strum your way through it. It's really, really easy. There is a solo that happens uh, about halfway through the song. It's just playing the chorus um, chords underneath that. But I'll quickly show you what um, that sounds like. I'll just turn down a little bit so it's not as scratchy. So what I like to do is I bar on the 8th fret on the G and the B. And that just allows me to be lazy. I don't have to move my fingers around as much. So I just bar there. And you're playing down, down, up on the ninth fret of the G. And then you're playing the bar at the 8th fret on the B and you're hammering on your um, ring finger to the 10th, so. And then you play it once more after, so. Whoops. So you play that passage twice. Then you go back up to the ninth of the G and play that down, down, up one more time. And then we're into a second little passage. So all together that section slowly. So that's the first little passage. And then we have a little passage that happens after that. So coming off the last little bit there. So you're playing the 10th uh, fret of the B. Play it and then pull off to the eighth, and then you're going up to the ninth of the G. And then you finish on that ninth, and then it is seven, nine, seven on the G string, and then up to seventh on the D. So that whole passage really, really, really slowly, so you can see it. And then he goes straight back into the verse. Just like that. He does hang on, you can hear it, there's like an overdub. The solo, he just... Sorry, it just looked like I gave you the finger there. Apologies for that. But you give you a bit of vibrato and just hang, hang around on that note before you go back to the verse. And then it just pretty much plays out the chorus after that verse for the rest of the song. But as I said, really, really catchy song, really, really simple as well. And it's really moody, completely different to a lot of the other Sex Pistols song. Very, very hard in my opinion. Not hard to play, just hard sounding. It's, um, it's a, a pleasant surprise. So thank you very much to those people who suggested doing a lesson on this. Um, I'd be happy to do more. So if you know of any other Sex Pistols songs that maybe are sort of buried and no one really knows about, feel free to comment down below and I'd love to do some more lessons on it. I plan on doing pretty much all of the Sex Pistols um, discography and all their songs. So they're all here in one place, in one place I should say, on the channel for everyone to, to view. So hopefully you enjoyed that lesson. We've got the intro, the verse, the chorus, and that little solo, all really, really easy to play. So don't forget to check out the Nevermind the Bollocks playlist uh, down below or in the channel. That's gonna get you playing all of those Sex Pistols songs all in one place. And there you have it guys, that's how you play Stepping Stone by the Sex Pistols. Another great one off the Rock and Roll Swindle. A bit more laid back, a bit slower, um, a bit more moodier that one, but it's really, really good and it holds up with anything off, never mind the bollocks in my opinion. So hopefully you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. As I mentioned, I upload multiple guitar lessons per week and covers. Feel free to give the video a like as well if you found it entertaining or useful. That really helps out with the channel, pushes it out to more people. Feel free to comment down below, would you like to see any more Sex Pistols? covers, lessons, anything I may have missed, feel free to pop them down the bottom there. Check out all the playlists that are popping up, check out the comments section and the description. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next lesson. Catch ya.